Hey guys, Alicia here. If you did not get to see the video I made a while back on how to make nursery wall art, I made one for a girl and today I'm actually going to make one for a boy. And I wanted to show you what 99 cents worth of clip art will do. So I get on Etsy and this is where I purchase most of my clip art. I do get some things from Creative Market and you know the hungry jpeg places like that but etsy is by far my favorite so these were marked down to 99 cents at the time when i purchased them so you can get all of these elephants in all different colors some are solid gray some are blue and then there are some pinks and then there's the giraffes and then they give you the papers to go with it so that you can design um, how you want and then there's also the solid yellow if someone you know wanted something that was like unisex so I really highly recommend that if you're looking for clip art I would go to Etsy directly it's an instant download and you can get it you know right Johnny on the spot and then it's ready to use so we are going to make nursery wall art today and we are going to make this in um, 11 by 14 and we're going to make two of them so that it's a set now you can sell this on etsy for about eight dollars and the beauty of it is that you can sell it 999 times and then if you run out you can sell relist it again and sell more that is how awesome it is you know that you can make your printables and you can sell them over and over and over again so before I get into the designing if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so you do not miss out on any future videos that I will be uploading okay so we're gonna go here and it just so happens that in ipicky.com they do have the 11 by 14 option available if not you can go to a site called ninja units and it will tell you the pixels you need for your canvas size so we're going to go ahead and click create okay so i'm really liking this giraffe paper and i always like to c cover more than what i have to okay so here is our giraffe paper and I, like I said I'm just going to show you how easy this is to do let me see if I can okay and then I'm going to go here and I'm going to add this giraffe And simplicity and we're gonna to try to get that as centered as we can okay so here is our first wall art done we did that in less than 20 seconds so let me go ahead and save this one And I'm going to save it to my desktop. Okay, and I'm going to return back and I'm going to make the second one. Okay, so we already have this saved and we don't need it. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this and we're going to start all over again. This time I'm going to... do just like a solid color blue and let me see if I even like that idea of it being solid color blue I think I'll make it lighter okay so right here we're gonna do an initial like a um, like a you know a monogram and then we're gonna put the name over it so if you have been following my videos 
usually any time that I make something, I just come up with some fictitious name that of someone I don't know. So we're going to say that the name we're using is Mason. So we're going to put an M, and we need to pick out a font. So I picked out my font, and now we need to add more text, and we're going to type the name. Mason and then I am going to pick a font for that as well Okay, so I picked out my font for this and now is what we need to do So they're not running together and we need to let you know the name stand out is we need to change the colors of the letters So I am going to see what I can do here I think I'm changing that one to a dark gray and then I'm gonna make this one a very very light gray actually I might even do this one one down below okay and then for this one to stand out we're gonna make it a very light gray or we can do like a darker blue we can do um, even a very light gray you know anything like that just for it to stand out or you can even do white and I think I kinda like the white okay so here is our name and if you want to really keep going with the Safari theme you can even take and upload you know one of these um, elephants and I, do, I think this elephant is a uh, JPEG so let me take out the white background on that and I'll show you what I'm talking about okay so I took the background out by going to Lunapic and just taking out the um, background and making it a transparent PNG file so if you really wanted to you could pull this over here and and that is still not the right one hang on Okay, I took out the background. I do not know why. But for example, if you did want to use something like this, you could make this really small and you could put this kind of like hanging on the edge and that's what I'm gonna to try to do, but I gotta figure out why this white background is not coming out. So I'm gonna pause this for just a second. Okay, so I got that fixed. So let me show you how we're gonna do this again. We're going to just take this and we're going to make it smaller and we're going to tilt it a little bit. And we're just going to add that to like the bottom. And there we go. So we're going to go ahead and save this image. And I'm going to save this to my desktop for the time being. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to put it in a mock-up photo. Now I made the mock-up photo myself um, using some images I had from a scene creator that I purchased several months ago. So um, we just need to put it in a mock-up photo because when you go to list your item on Etsy, the mock-up photo is going to be the first photo that they see. And then you always want to make sure that you watermark your images. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. We're going to go ahead and click Editor. We do not need to save this because we have already saved it to our desktop. So I'm going to go over here and I am going to select Edit. Okay, this is the mock-up, and it's how I made this. I made like a light blue, and then I went to the textures, and I added some textures. So this gives the illusion of what it would look like if it were hanging on a wall. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the layering tool here, and I'm going to upload um, the images on the desktop of the two 
wall art that we just created. And then is what we're going to do is we're going to fit these inside of these mock-up frames that are 11 by 14. And you want to make sure you get these in here as best as you possibly can. And there we go. So when you go to list this on Etsy, this is what they're going to see. Now you can do this as an instant download if you have like a quote or something like that that is not personalized. So is what you would do in this case is you would have them email you their name. And then you would do this really quick and you would email it back to them, say within 24 hours. But the quicker you get it back to them, the faster. So this is what you can do with 99 cents worth of clip art. I mean, and then you could probably list this for about $8 for two, two instant downloads or two images. And you can sell it over and over and over again. And also the options are endless because we had other items to work with as well. Other papers and other animals and things like that. So this is just, you know, showing you what you can do with clip art and digital paper that you purchase on Etsy. I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, again, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so you do not miss out on any future videos about how to make money online. Thanks so much for watching and I hope everyone has a great day.